Yo ho, what's going on? Um, interesting news. Actually, I found out about this, I think, a couple days ago. But apparently that Blade show that everyone was talking about. Um, yeah, apparently, I, I feel like that's like not going to happen ever. Because people are speculating that they're, they're back to square one with all this shit. So basically, what happened is that, I mean, Maharshala Ali, the guy who was going to play Blade. Pay, play Blade. Beyblade. But anyways, um, the guy who's going to play Blade. You may know him. He, was, he played Cottonmouth in Luke Cage. And uh, also, he voiced Uncle Aaron in the new spider-man anime movies which is just i mean the guy's smooth you can tell the guy's smooth that's the number one thing you need you need a, in a blade any anyone who's portraying blade you need him to be a smooth motherfucker you know what i'm saying because some motherfuckers always trying to ice get up hill you know what i'm saying but i mean what happened exactly here the gist of it is that same corporate bullshit but the the key thing is that maharshala ali just walked he's I, I think he's not doing it anymore apparently right so now they're back to square one because how are you gonna do anything if you don't even have the main star you know what i'm saying and I, and I see him as a good fit as Blade because obviously once again he's cool he's slick right um, that's exactly that's exactly what we need in, in a Blade right right that's exactly what Wesley Snipes was and I and I feel like Maharshal Ali could could honestly fill those shoes really well you know because we haven't had a Blade in literal years when was the, when was the last movie came out uh, Blade Trinity when did this come out I don't know does this say the fucking date I don't know but one thing I do know is definitely been more than 10 years since we had anything of Blade there's a new Blade coming up by Arcane I also react in that check it out um but yeah i mean this is uh i would say tragic but let me tell you why i don't regret this at all because say this show did come out right what i heard about it what the original script is about is not sounding good and i'm honestly after all after hearing the script i'm glad it didn't happen because it was just gonna be garbage anyways so basically the main premise of the show was that blade the titular character was gonna play second fiddle to two female characters i mean that's what it says in all the articles i've seen that's what that's the most prominent thing they're saying that Blade, the character that that's in the title, right? The star of the show was gonna play second fiddle to two female characters. Now, ladies and gentlemen, what is this? What what what, what exactly does this remind you of? Hmm? Hmm? Oh yeah, exactly. Right. This reminds me of the ugly truth that we live in a society, and actually in society, society in 2024, and in the western world because see the thing is um <laughs> it's only the west who's pushing all this progressive progressiveness and all this um uh, gender equality bullshit right now i'm not trying to get into it i'm trying to get political right but okay let's be honest so it it, it is woke culture that's probably destroyed this because okay once again it's not just about women that oh there's me two women and that's a problem no if it if it was like blade and he's being a second fiddle to two other male characters same diff the show is about Blade. Why is he playing second fiddle to two other characters, side characters who have nothing to do with the fucking story, who aren't Blade? This is a story about Blade. We want to see more shit about him. Like when, you, like when you watch Daredevil from Marvel's Netflix, a beautiful show, by the way, masterpiece. One of the best superhero shows, period. One of the best shows, period, okay? Deadass. Even if, even if you're not a superhero fan, you'll like that show because it's, it's extremely nuanced and it's complex. You know what I'm saying? You watch Daredevil because you want to see Daredevil fighting. You want to see his internal struggle, his battle with his faith, all that shit, right? And you get that. Same thing with Luke Cage, just like he knows all the other Netflix shows, right? When you watch Moon Knight, same thing happens. You want we watch about Moon Knight and how he's dealing with his multiple personalities, right? But all of a sudden, now we're going to get a Blade show where the star of the show is not Blade, but two random characters. Once again, it doesn't matter if they're women, they're just not Blade. Why the fuck are you not Blade, right? You know what I'm saying? What, what, what's up with that? And yeah, we, we, can, we can all just blame it on progressiveness and SAW feminist bullshits. Because what, what the fuck else would it be? What, 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 come on. You know, and honestly, the way I see it, I'm glad it didn't work out because if it did, it was going to be a piece of shit, right? And honestly, from the start, I never had high hopes because let's let's be honest. I mean, it's, it's Disney. It's Marvel. They're, they're making this shit. They, they don't have a good track record. I mean, the only good shit ever, they peaked that end game, right? And ever since then, it's been, it's been like going straight to the shitter. Of course, they've been bangers here and there like Shang-Chi. I thought was really good. I thought No Way Home was really good for obvious reasons. Um, when it comes to shows, uh, let's see, Moon Knight. I fucking love that. I love, I love that. It's honestly so good. And the best thing is, I watched it, like, before going to Egypt. Me, personally, I went to Egypt. So, I mean, that accentuated this experience even more. So, I felt it. Best believe, while I was in Egypt, I was listening to the soundtrack. Because it's, just, it's an absolute banger. Right? And, Oscar's, and Oscar Isaac's performance, amazing. Like, guy, guy can act. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Uh, people tell me that Loki is good. I haven't seen it, so I can't say anything about that. Same thing with What If. People say it's all right. I haven't, once again, I haven't seen either of those, so I can't say much. All I, the only thing I have seen is Moon Knight, and I can tell you, bro, it was spectacular. You gotta watch that shit, right? It's almost as if Marvel didn't make it. You know what I'm saying? And ever since they cut off their deal with Netflix, yeah, I mean that that like, who are these? Who are these people who who are allowed to make these decisions? It's almost as if they they intentionally choose the dumbest people on planet Earth and say, hey, here you go. 
um, why don't you make a decision for us to, to make our company go straight into the shitter? Yeah, like I don't know, I don't know, I don't know how. Like, are there no working brain cells at Marvel at the moment? Like, how are they fucking up so hard, right? And it really just because you know, like this is see, this is a problem when you aren't so much when when you aren't focused on actually telling the character story and an interesting riveting story, but you're more focused on pushing your bullshit political agenda. And and, and let's be honest, it's, it's it is that okay. It's not exactly trying to be subtle here. It's pretty blatant. Yeah, okay. The fact, especially the fact it's two female characters, I mean that makes it pretty obvious. I mean, what do we what have what have we been having in in recent movies nowadays? A lot. A female representation and not the good kind not the fucking good kind right it's like the feminist we hate men type shit you know what i'm saying remember that remember that star wars lady i don't know what the fuck she was director or whatever she said that she, she just hates men she wants to make men uncomfortable how are you how are you how are you going to be a multi-billion dollar company and say that when, when when a majority of people who are star Wars fans are are men you know what i'm saying nerds who never got laid ever right no no shot at you i mean i'm sure many of you jedis and or siths I've gotten a lot of pussy, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just saying, in general, in general, <laughs> you know, um, yeah, no, but but this is like this is this happens all the time, and I, this is the only problem with the West, honestly. It's only it's only with Western uh, movies and TV shows and, and video games, probably too. And just Western media in general, they, only they give shit about this. Japan don't give a shit. Nowhere else in the world do they give a shit about this. So it's only it's only um, it's only America, <laughs> and 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 it shows right. It shows that people don't give a fuck because how many shows have bombed how many shows movies video games everything have bombed in the most recent years like this is honestly has to be the worst this has to be like the the the, the dark ages of movies dark ages in media period because it's it's, a, it's just so bad and almost every movie nowadays is fucking bombing right and it makes sense why because you you don't want to make a movie you don't want to tell a story right you don't want to create this universe you just want to push your fucking agenda Right and and it shows you're not even being subtle about it. It's so fucking obvious. Remember that scene in in, in uh, one of the X Men movies. I don't remember. I don't remember which one. Obviously the newer ones. He said, "Oh yeah, um, maybe you should call. Maybe it should be. Maybe it shouldn't be called X Men. It should be called X Women." And by the way, the women are always saving the men around here. You might want to think about changing the name to X Women. And I'm like, how 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 is it that someone got paid to to write that? Huh? How was it that someone got paid to write that? Like, I, I, when I when I see shit like that, I'm like, wow. All you have to do to be successful in today's day and age is be an absolute fucking idiot, right? And you'll be fine. It's it's the age where like actual, genuine, common sense, sensible people are being casted out, right? Being ostracized from society, and absolute fucking retards are on top of the world, and and it and it shows. Right? What do you think the state of the world is going to be? What do you think the state of the world is going to be if, if everyone is who is in charge, everyone who's calling the shots is is is, is mentally disabled? What? what? What do you think it's going to be like? Right? So I mean, you know what? This is all we need, right? Wesley Snipes. This role was made for him. I heard that while he's on the set filming this, he would not answer to Wesley Snipes. He said, "Call me Blade." Because motherfucker, I am Blade, right? And it's a real shame because, like I said, Maharshala Ali is one smooth motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I mean. Hey, you know what I'm saying? I mean, come on. To see him in Blade was like honestly, who else? Who else could you possibly check? Who else could you possibly pick to play Blade? To play Blade, Beyblade. You know what I'm saying? Who? 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 I made that joke twice. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do it. Just, something came over me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's all just fucked. Everything. Everything's fucked. If you think about it. I mean, movies, TV shows, any any type of media that's coming out of America. It, it's just. It's obviously. I'm not saying like all. But uh, the, the the overwhelming majority is, is is that they're trying to push some fucking agenda, right? It's seeped into uh, uh, fucking movies, TV shows, video games, even right, and that and that really bothers me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. This is this is not cool, right? Uh, but honestly, once again, I'm not too sad. If they cancel like Daredevil season three, then I'd be fucking mad because I know that show's an absolute banger. But after reading the original script of what it could have been. I'm glad it didn't happen because I know it's gonna be another piece of garbage that no one's gonna fucking watch. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah. I mean, yeah. It's sure, it's, it's sure is sad that I couldn't see Maharshala Ali, um, uh, play Blade, right? Which I, I, he may never because once again, he he just said he was he walked out. So your main the main star of your show is gone. So what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? It, it, it is a great regret that I didn't get to see him. We'll never see him play Blade, which is honestly quite tragic because, well, like I said, he's he's a smooth guy. He can pull it off really well. Right, but you know, uh, yeah, no, not not like this, not like this. I don't want you to bring back a, a, a fan favorite character only to fuck him up so hard. Like people don't understand how legendary these movies are, right? My favorite probably be the second one, Blade Two. 
Yeah, it's always the trilogy, right? The first one is a good groundwork for the next one, which fucking skyrockets, and third one was, right? Um, yeah, and the Trinity isn't even like uh, Spider-Man three good. It's not even like Spider-Man three bad. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's just bad. <laughs> um, yeah, no, but uh, yeah, this this is this is all we need. Fuck, this is all we need, right? Right here. You see that? Yeah, this is all we need essentially. Um, but this came out like fucking 20 years ago. You know what I'm saying, man? The first movie, at least. It came out in the 90s. Yeah, people often forget that Black Panther wasn't the first superhero movie that came out. And Deadpool wasn't the first R-rated movie. It was this guy right here. People often forget that. I just I thought, I'd to, I thought I'd have to remind you. You know what I'm saying? Because you seem to forget. What's up with this shit? You know what I'm saying? That's just um, the bullshit I want to talk about. This whole situation with Blade. That we may never get the show. But you know, honestly, yeah, I, I don't mind. After reading the original script, it's, it's fine. We don't need it. If, if, if that's what you're going to give me, then you can keep that garbage to yourself. No one fucking wants that, right? No one wants to... Can we just get a movie where it's just a movie? Instead of having all this political bullshit attached... Stop. Stop. You are killing cinema. We don't need that shit. Right? Leave politics and politics. I don't need that shit in my fucking movie. Stop. Right? Stop it. And even if you are going to do it, do it subtly to the fact that we don't actually know you're doing it, even though even though we're probably going to find out anyways, right? But make it make sense to the fucking character. They're making it just for the sake of being in there. It has no relevance to the story, but they're just putting it, they're just shoehorning it in there for no fucking reason because, once again, it's the agenda, right? They're, they're fucking cultist masters are telling me, you, you got to do this shit. You got to put it in that movie. You got to fuck up this franchise, this fan favorite franchise for multiple years. You got to fuck it up. Why? Why? Because we told you so. Because you sold your soul to us. So guess what? You're my bitch now. You gotta do what I say. I feel like that's. I feel like that's how it goes. I mean, we all know everyone in Hollywood sold their soul at some point. But um, yeah, I probably should get out of here before something happens. But anyways, that I just want to talk about this whole situation. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Later.